guys, it's me, Expert Terminal. Today we're gonna be talking about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a little while now. And it's a controversial subject in the COD Mobile community. Well, not too controversial, but it causes quite a stir when you mention it in like in a forum or a Facebook group or anything like that. And it's been a topic that's been causing some stigma in the community. And that is the use of a Bluetooth controller Controllers like this Xbox controller that I have right here, or a PS4 controller, or any Bluetooth controller that is compatible with the game. There's been a handful of stigma regarding it, and there have been some things being said around, so I just wanted to bring up those things that have been said, and just talk about what all that means, and I just wanted to bring some stuff up of my own, things that I know, and certain things that you guys need to know as a community when it comes to people playing controller on Call of Duty Mobile. So one of the first things that I hear when it comes to playing Call of Duty Mobile with a controller is that they consider it cheating. They're saying that it's not fair to people who are using touch to go against controller players because they have the advantage and the people who are playing just using their thumbs don't. While I agree that yes there are certain advantages with the controller compared to playing on a touch screen especially if you're just using two thumbs, but there are some things that you need to consider in which before you start to assume that these touchscreen players have to start playing against controller players. One thing that you guys are failing to really understand is that, and this is probably one of the most biggest misconceptions regarding controller play, is that controller players and touchscreen players are put into their own lobbies. They're never really put into the same lobby together unless one person in your party is using an alternative input and differs from the rest of the party or whatever. And once that happens, then yes, it goes into a crossplay lobby. And then from there, touchscreen players and controller players are going to start to merge. Another argument that I hear is like, controller players are for pussies. I can beat you with my two thumbs, or I can beat you with my touchscreen, or my triggers, or blah blah blah. Okay, if you can beat controller players, why do you why are you complaining about it? Let people enjoy their inputs. I play on all three. I play three finger claw on iPad, triggers, and a controller. Ooh, okay. Another thing I see people really mention is why don't you just play Modern Warfare or Warzone instead of Call of Duty Mobile? Here's what you guys need to consider. Playing Modern Warfare and Warzone rewards a different style of play instead of what you're seeing right now on your screen with Call of Duty Mobile. I'm sorry to say it, but we're never going to get back that old school style of Call of Duty just like in Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare, everything that was before Black Ops 4. We're never going to get that style again. That's the truth because Activision wants to put Call of Duty in a new light, especially with Warzone and everything like that. Modern Warfare rewards more on passive play rather than me going up in people's face and shoot them and jump and all that stuff and prone shot or whatever, trick shot, something like that, or quick scope. Activision doesn't want Call of Duty going that direction anymore. And as sad as that sounds, that's gonna be the truth. And that's that's where the series is headed from now on. Call of Duty Mobile is supposed to be the ode to old school gameplay. We're never gonna get back the old school Call of Duty that you know that you once knew and loved. They're already going to start including elements of modern warfare like gunsmith and how Battle Royale is played. But the truth is is that we're never gonna get back that old school style of gameplay. Everything that made Call of Duty great. Mobile is the celebration of that. Call of Duty Mobile is supposed to be the Call of Duty for everyone. Why else are there different ways to play? How about the people that don't like the new way of playing Call of Duty? With all the campers and all the people playing passively and that want to enjoy the old maps again without having to play the old console games with all the hackers and all the hacked lobbies and stuff like that. I feel like those people are playing Call of Duty Mobile because they want that experience again. And I'm one of those people too. I think Call of Duty Mobile is probably the best thing to happen to this series because we've come to that point now where I think people are tired of paying $60 to the yearly release for the same thing. That's why they gave us they gave us this. They gave people Warzone. And plus the endless support for this game and the fact that you can play it on like any device. It doesn't really cost much to get like a 
to get a controller to play this if you just want to play just like the old school way. Everyone has a phone. That sounds like a very Blizzard thing to say. <laughs> but Call of Duty Mobile is super accessible. You can play it on almost any device and it'll still feel like the old school way of playing. Get yourself a controller and then like with the mount attachment and then that's how I felt when I was playing this. It felt like I was playing Black Ops 4 mixed with Black Ops 2. At the end of the day, why would Activision add this feature into the game if their real vision was to really make it a mobile-oriented game? That's just my take on it. I just want to know what you guys think. I also hear some people saying just get a console. Yeah, like someone's gonna have the money just fork out $300 and another $60 for Modern Warfare for a game that doesn't even play the same way. Call of Duty Mobile is a different kind of beast. And I'm really hoping that in the future that I'm really hoping for an actual like competitive controller community or at least that Call of Duty Mobile does more to support controller players than currently. Have controller competitions. Add more options for controllers. Release this game on the Switch. Things like that. Things to expand and encourage people to keep playing on controller. That's why I play, that's why I'm making content with controller. I just want to outreach to more people and show that controller players are still pod mobile players. You can tell me to just go play Modern Warfare. I played Modern Warfare. I played, I pumped a lot of hours into it. It's a different kind of Call of Duty. It's not the same as this. It plays so differently. But thank you guys for watching this video and listening to what I have to say regarding controller play. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like and share this with your friends. Don't forget, I also stream as well on this channel. I stream Thursday and Saturday on, on this channel here, and then I also stream on my team's channel, which is N1 Group Pod Mobile, and that is going to be in that uh, URL below, in that little box right there. Be sure to give it a follow. I stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I stream 6 p.m. on Thursdays, and then I stream 7 p.m. on Saturdays, and I also stream 7 p.m. on the Fridays on the N1 Group page. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked this video. Hope you all have a good day.